tayo. So this is my project tool, and this is you can see here. Uh, this is the original file from the client, and the art actually I'm I'm talking to the architect. The architect said they want to highlight those um, billboards. Yes, this is this is where they are planning to show the advertisements and other school activities, and they want to put the la the luminaires here. There is a cove here in the side in the balcony, and they want that is the story from the architect. And this is what I did because I don't have time. I'm dealing with the architect. I'm sure there are lots of revisions. So what I did is I I do it in Photoshop. So this is my Photoshop design. So it's like imagining there's a, a luminaires uh, sorry luminaires there highlighting these uh, posters. So you can see there's a I just put some lines there and then make it glow. Also on this side, the architects also said that he wants to show the windows or the skylight blue at night. So I just added some maybe either linear light here with a blue effect. That's it. I did it in uh, Photoshop, and I uh, the architects specified these fittings. I said, okay, let me just check the fittings if it has uh, photometric files or IS files. And the client said, just go to this link and you can download the photometric files. I said, okay, good, good, good. Okay, so this is what I did. This is the initial design. Um, yeah, be smart. Be, dealing with the architect takes revision. So run it first in Photoshop because it takes only a few minutes to do that. And then if the architect said, okay, that looks good, how can we prove that the luminaire is really going to highlight those posters? So what I did is I ran a, a small calculation after she agrees with everything, with the luminaires and everything. So this is now my... Dialogs Evo calculation. Very simple. You can see here on the side, these are the fittings. Yeah, you can see the groove is here. Yes, this is the groove. And then I put the very slim floodlights. And these are the posters. These are another fittings highlighting the ceiling because she changed her mind to use a linear floodlights there. And you can see I created um, uh, calculation surfaces on the posters. And this is now the value of this um, lights you can see it's much uniform compared to the other um, optics that I used before so this is how you do it first use in Photoshop uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, design simulation like this one and then if they agreed and if they want they are really serious and want to proceed then run a calculation using that out. but make it only simple design like what you can, can see here yes of course you need to ask for the drawing because you need to, need to know the spacing of this balcony to these posters because previously it's only an image so you cannot assume the distance of this uh, balcony to the poster so you need to ask for the drawing and then yeah then run a calculation okay next Another project, same project, but different area. So this is the atrium part. This is the art, the image from the architect. The architect said, I don't want to see any luminaires scattering all over the atrium. I just want to see a luminaire from here, mounting on this little window there, and in it like that, and some general lighting from, the, from all over the place. So this is my solution. I placed the fittings here. Looks good. It's only Photoshop. These are the luminaires, the proposed one. It's also from the architect, so no problem. I just took the, the image and put it there in the Photoshop. And then I suggested to add some wide beam floodlights there and also some step lights here and some guide lights there for an additional general lighting. And that's it. Another 10 to 15 minutes um, lighting design proposal using Photoshop. But again, if the architect said, go and check if this luminaires really is going to add uh, lights enough to the whole area, then you can go and run a calculation. So this is what I did. Yeah, so th this one, I take a little effort because I put those la uh, plants, also those tre um, braces, trellis or roof trusses. Okay, the roof trusses. All right, so these are the trusses. I put uh, plants that is from SketchUp. And then I, I modeled the whole atrium using the drawings from the architect. 
And this is the overall layout, uh, overall lighting design for the ATM. And it looks good. It looks clean. And they will not see any luminaries from the area. I did not add those step lights because the architect said, I don't think we, we have a light points on that stairs. So if there's no light points, it's, it's not possible to add lights there. So there will be no step lights anymore here. No light points because the wiring is already there. So you cannot add more wires if it's already, the stairs are already, already done. That's why maybe she suggested or he suggested to put the floodlights only in this side. Okay, next, edit that one. So a little effort for this atrium. Next, this is the facade, same project. Now I deal with the indoor and outdoor. So this is the facade. Again, this is the uh, picture from the architect. I think I already showed this one before to my Dilux Evo basic students. And this is my Photoshop proposal, lighting proposal. Using the fittings, this, 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 this. So these are linear flood lights using maybe this one. And then some recess linear flood using this one. And those pole lights are this one. Different sizes and different beam optics. And maybe this one for the plants. You can see here in my trees. And that's it. That's how simple it is. Five to ten minutes lighting design solution for the architects. And then if they said yes, let's go and check if it okay or not okay let's run a calculation and then boom this is now my lighting calculation so i run a calculation those floodlights there you go aim it put the linear there highlight it there and then check in the false color if it's uniform on the facade so i adjusted it make it more uniform and then add some patwalk lights there and yeah that's it so i remove some luminaires here because like i said it's not necessary but he requested to have some uh, spike lights on the plants there on that side. And that's it. Uh, uh, that's how you do a simple lighting solution first and then run it if it's now proceeding to more serious project. Okay.